Do you know what having a Bombay sandwich does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Now, a Bombay sandwich is a simple sandwich where you first apply butter and hari chutney to white bread and then you fill it with boiled aloo, khira, tomato and piyaz. And then you add some chaat masala inside and grill it. In total, this should be between 450 to 500 calories. Let's see how this compares to vada pav. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 32 mg increase. Okay, that's pretty good. The interesting thing is that even though I had 4 slices of white bread and you know what happens when I have white bread, my blood sugar levels go up very quickly. The result was much better compared to when I had 2 vada pavs which had increased my blood sugar levels by 54 mg. This is much lower. This is clearly because Bombay sandwich has much more fiber in it and whenever there's more fiber in a meal, it tends to slow down the release of glucose into the bloodstream. Plus if you remember, when I had khira or cucumber sandwiches, my blood sugar levels had increased by 59 mg. In both cases, I had 4 slices of white bread. Which means that the difference in result is entirely because Bombay sandwich has much more fiber in it. And that's because they fill it up with vegetables. Much more than in a normal sandwich. Seeing the incredible impact of fiber, I ideally should be consuming fiber along with every meal. Seeing this result, next time I'm in Bombay, I have to ideally prioritize having a Bombay sandwich over vada pav, even though of course, vada pav does taste better.